is this podcast called again? I think I, I think it was along the lines of "Hello, everyone, welcome to the Orange Podcast, Episode Two, baby." Woo! Anyway, Benny, Benny, I hope you're not being serious. Yeah, I'll actually piss on your fucking garden. What? Why? Not being serious. No uh, serious I need to, I need to drain the snake. Sorry. Uh, uh, why? All right. So just you like last time. Drawn. All right. What are you guys drinking? I just finished my Pepsi. Go get another. Another? Go get a fucking another. I think I'm fine. How fucking dare you? I was halfway through this Kirkland brand purified water last night. I'm gonna finish it today. This is my Kroger brand water. Mm. I'm drinking. Uh, definitely sounds like water. I'm drinking some. Actually, it's not exactly warm anymore. Uh, pomegranate and raspberry tea. Ooh. Green. It's green tea, Ooh. but like it's been flavored too. Uh, yeah, raspberry. Oh. Yeah, you drinking? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> just some fucking awkward silence. I was staring at you because I thought you were draining the snake into your drink, adding lemonade to it. Okay. <laughs> well, there's already lemonade in it. Why would I add more? You wanted the more zesty flavor. Fuck yes. Uh, yes. yes, I love I love the zesty flavor that can stop my heart. Quite the acquired what? taste, if I do say so myself. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Why does Barry Grills drink his own piss every day? It's not even. It's not even survival. I don't, I don't think. I don't, <laughs> he's, he's in his own home. He, he like. He, he grabs some water from the tap. He throws it out. He just fills it with his own piss. <laughs> Big girls not throw out tap water. I feel like he wouldn't do that. He'd like pour it on like a little child and then run away and then. <laughs> some poor soul. He, fucking, he throws a child. He put. He puts some water on it. He runs away. <laughs> it's like watering a plant. Just the child starts growing. <laughs> Child starts failing <laughs> <laughs> protein, Keenan. You don't understand. It's like it's like that. It's like that Pac-Man Waka Waka video. Waka Waka. You, you spray some water on their face and they start uh, flailing around. Go. <laughs> I would still have become editors. Some, some G-Man fucking head ass dude like sprayed orange juice in my eyes. Oh fuck, Doctor Freeman. Squirt, squirt. Doctor Freeman. Look at my tunnel snake. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Right piss in the wrong place can make all the difference. Dr. Freeman, Dr. how do you... On a scale of 1 to 10, how big is my one-eyed snake? <laughs> the one-eyed snake. The one-eyed snake. What That's such an that? intimidating word for penis. Oh, Yeah, the ruin the fun. We were all... <laughs> You had to say the P word. Now you're but how does it taste? Your what? But how does it how does it taste? Yeah, but how does it taste? Uh, like... The uh the, the 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 fucking the fucking thing says it's it's it's, uh, it's edible. Tasty. Yeah. <coughs> T- <Yeah>. Shit. <laughs> you're just all doing like shitty solid snake impression. Yeah. Yeah. Tasty. Colonel, what does this Popeye's chicken sandwich taste like? Says it's edible. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. You okay. Know what they say snake tastes like crocodile. Fucking cannibal. What was that? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I've yet to play through an entire Metal Gear Solid game, but oh, oh man. Too. Haven't touched one. I haven't touched one either. Or two. Or three. I mean, I did touch one and three. Oh boy. And then I got frustrated at one's elevator section. I got I got like spawn killed like fifty times. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to like load up news articles, but my phone is just so fucking slow. Which brings us into our next topic. Current events. What the fuck is going on? on? Before before the audience gets bored. There's two audience. That there's is us. two whole ass people. <laughs> Sitting in a room rewatching these. Yeah. These current events. What's <laughs> They're happening all with They're strapped to their chair. Yeah, so earlier, like earlier today, being like 15 minutes ago, I picked out an article on BBC because it caught my eye. Because it was like, one, why is this here? And two, this is funny as shit. Alaska woman attacked by bear while using toilet. 
Why? Dude, the homie just wants to take a shit, too. Homie. A uh, woman in Alaska says she, quote, jumped up and screamed, unquote, after she was attacked by a bear while using the toilet. Okay. She jumped up and screamed. I find that implausible. How would you jump up and scream if you had a fucking... A fucking mole. What if your ass like, stuck to the nuts. seat, so you jumped up and he took the toilet seat with you? <laughs> you your your ass, ass cheeks to, the, to the fucking toilets. Do you know how to? Do you know how long you have to sit there for the like the toilet seat to come with you? You'd have to uh, sit there for a long ass time. Your like skin would like have to like be <laughs> melding around it and shit. Oh. Apparently, um, the woman who was actually in the toilet actually suffered a puncture wound. Whoa. From the bear or the toilet? Uh, probably the bear. Maybe because the bear clawed at it. And then apparent, and then after that, uh, Miss uh, Miss Stevens' brother went to see what had caused the injury, only to find a bear's head in the hole of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like that one fucking uh, like that one JoJo episode where the fucking pig's head is like sticking out of the toilet. Or it's that oh, it's a weird like ghost toilet. hand inside the toilet in Clock Town and Majora's Mask. Yeah. Fucking gave that bear a swirly. See that bear is fucking swirly. Oh. Yeah, was, this wound, the wound was either a, uh, a bite or a swipe from the bear. Crazy. Aww. So um, no, no bite, swipe, no kick, no, no knife. So now I know yeah. getting your ass beat by a bear is kind of not good. Just fucking punch the bear. Come on. It's like it's like Baki anywhere, anytime. <laughs> anywhere, <laughs> anytime. Be taking a shit. Taking a whiz, going on a date with your significant other, the bear will be there. Baki, Baki's dad says, "Have sex all the fucking time because then you'll get strong." Mm. <laughs> when you're when you're smooching your girlfriend, the bear will be there to congratulate you. And then that, that one fucking guy spec, <laughs> <laughs> fucking standing behind him, fucking happy as all hell can be, Bear's watching him, school. watching him fucking smooch. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> it's spec reminds me of my grandpa he was younger <laughs> was what, the one that ate the soap yeah the one that ate the soap <laughs> my, my grandpa had a stomach ache one time and he fucking instead of like telling one of us he just like had asked like went to the sink and drank dish soap <clears throat> So I, was, I, he ate a bar well, so I actually ran more of the fucking uh, ran read more of the article and apparently the bear was inside the shithole like actually oh like jojo okay yeah literally like jojo i thought it was like uh i don't know i thought of it differently but i guess it was literally inside the shithole oh i thought it was fucking like like tekken like stage transitions where you fucking hit the you break a wall and the bear is just there like fucking comboing someone into the room fuck <laughs> Who's that so one? It's like that one, it's like that one video of the bear doing martial arts. Who was that one guy who played like the bear character in Tekken and won a tournament with it? Oh yeah. Fuck, I don't remember. Are you, are you talking about the video where it's like the fisherman with the salmon and the bear's like fighting over it? Yeah. And he kicks him in the nuts. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. That's yeah. a classic. That's a 2008 that's a, that's classic. A, that's a classic. That's a that's a fucking classic. I can't wait to be that fucking bear. <laughs> I can't wait to beat that fucking bear. Benny, Come I'm here. a bear. <laughs> Come over here. Well, Come since you're a bear, why don't you go climb inside a porta potty and bite at someone's ass uh, as I'm they try lazy. to sit down? I'm too lazy. Oh. So you're just gonna get shit on and you're gonna catch it with your mouth? Bitch, who said I'm climbing into one? I don't know. That's what bears do, apparently. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking... yeah. it's, it's a... Alright, Benny, what, what's your news article? It's my news article. I fucking... <laughs> Because I don't have one because my phone can't load fucking CNN. Uh, uh, uh. uh, uh okay, actually, never mind. Mine just loaded. No, I, I got one. I got one. I got one. <laughs> fucking. I got one. I got one. I got, I got, I got one. one. I think I got one. Ugh. Wisconsin citizens figure out the land is flat, like GM flatgrass. <gasps> That's cool. The That's rewind. cool. So anyway, U.S. cities are losing 36 million trees a year, and here's why it matters and how you can stop it. (laughs) You're you're not going to refute the fact that Wisconsin is existent, but you fucking, you're going to tell me Fucking Wisconsin, Wyoming, those fucking places don't exist. (laughs) 
You get, you get tell me this fucking New Yorkers are eating trees every year with SMH my fucking head. SMH my head. Goddamn. SMH fucking head. Central Park's gonna look like fucking GM flat grass. <laughs> Just fucking GM. GM anything. GM York. GM, no GM grass. York. No grass. If you're looking for a reason to care about tree losses, summer's record-breaking heat waves might be it. Trees can lower summer daytime temperatures by as much as 10 degrees Fahrenheit, according to a recent study. This is boring. I don't. I don't. I don't fucking. I can't find a good <clears throat> news article that's interesting and something that's not fucking political. I don't want to be back in school. This shit sucks. I don't want to be back in fucking school. How about a somewhat more interesting, to- uh, so not topic, uh, article. Uh, COVID anti-vaccination protests held in Australia ahead of rollout. Crazy. Crazy. How did they know? People don't want the fucking government tracking devices in their bloodstream. SMH my head. I would Fashion want community ta- Fashion community takes to social media to stand up against Asian hate crimes in the US. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. That, that's cool. That's nice. What the fuck? Italy's Forbidden Orgy Island. I saw that article. Okay, now, what the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> that <laughs> Orgy that Island? Like a There's a Borg fucking eyes. Orgy Island in Italy. That's fucking cool. With emerald cool. green waters, blue skies, and a rugged, empty landscape. Jam flatgrass. Jam flatgrass. <laughs> so now it has everything you'd expect from a near-deserted Italian island destination. It also has a reputation for something rather more unexpected. Orgies. Ooh. There's an actual fucking orgy island that exists. You thought this was the stuff of movies and TV. Sounds like you an article my English teacher would bring up. Like a joke. All right. Like um, <laughs> Miss J, probably. Miss J, yeah. yes. Fuck she it, would totally bring that, that up. Used to be a bouncer. Yeah. Fucking awesome. All right, that's enough for like current event shit because current events are actually kind of boring, boring to talk about for a podcast. CNN's really fucking boring. Well, if you so wanted to learn all this nice shit, you could have just gone to like, CNN, yeah. peruse the front page, and then have been done already. Yeah. No, but you decided to listen to a boring ass podcast where we laugh at people uh, jokes. Oh, but it's definitely, I guess, somewhat interesting to see what the fuck is going on outside our country. <laughs> yeah. Even I, I would have never guessed that there's a fucking orgy island that exists. I mean, that, you there. see, that, that's like the one interesting thing we found out. There's an orgy island somewhere in Italy. And now so your fucking plane Italy. is booked. Is it, is it the fucking, like, island close to the boot, or...? I don't know. Huh. Close to it, the didn't boot. <laughs> it, it didn't say its location. It didn't say its location. It it, ju- it just said that it fucking exists. <laughs> I like like how we just describe fucking countries as like certain items. Fucking Italy. That, that's what boot. Italy is. It's the boot. It's the big fucking. Boot. It's a boot kicking a soccer ball, and then they it's go the go. <laughs> so that's why they have soccer over there. Oh, wow. Can we talk about how Girl Scout cookies are a literal godsend? I have not had gar- girl. Fuck. You have not had God. I've I've not, not, I've not had girls. Not Pensive. <laughs> That's it. I haven't had Girl Scout cookies in so fucking long. I actually like forgot what their flavors were. Oh, actually, they're the ones with the coconut shreds. On yeah, top. those are coconut samosas. Yeah, coconut samosas. Those were those, those were are really actual. Good. Fucking, those were god tier. I like those more than than thin mints at some points in my life. Oh yeah, I didn't really like the. Thi- I, I like the samosas more than the thin mints. I'm practically addicted to the Thin Mints. I got two boxes with me right now, and I'm eyeballing them a little bit. Jalen, I'm burning down your fucking house. Don't do that. Burning You're down the house. Wrong. Get get out of here. We didn't yeah. start the fire. We didn't say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of there. Oh fuck! Fuck! Say it! Don't think it. Don't say it! Don't think it! Don't say it! Don't say Who it was in Paris? Who was in Paris? Who is in Paris? Donkey in Paris. My favorite video from him. <laughs> Girl Scout cookies are a godsend, though. Yeah. Yeah, like, mentioned, like, like I mentioned, like I mentioned earlier, I'm literally addicted to Thin Mint Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookies. They're they're just too good. <clears throat> Girl Scout cookies. But I, I, I'm not really sell them. like super big into like eating like it's junk sweet. food. I'd it's imagine food since you're you know. Got I, big I, plans. I, yeah. I have I have big plans. Oh yeah, you got big plans. You're gonna become gotta, a world bodybuilder. I'm gonna here. become a world bodybuilder. <laughs> gonna start doing going, WWE shit. I'm going to I'm going to open the fucking uh 
pickle jar with just one try. Oh god, maybe maybe a good thing to talk about is when did you start and stop eating sweets? Because I I like I had a oh, really yeah, I still eat juice. sweets, but it's like not as often. I, I like eating like fruits and vegetables more now. I like yeah, I like veggies too. I like eat my boring ass broccoli every day. Dude, it's not boring. Shut the. F- I'm going to actually. Nah, eat. it is. Shit's good with cheese. Dude, you know what, Jalen? You just you just don't know what good food is. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking you grass eater that's all you do <laughs> all right that reminds me so so that i've been talking to like keeps making fun of me for eating salad and and, and she, she keeps fucking teasing me about eating salad like man you know what F- fuck you i like i like my salads you just jealous because i like eating my greens with those cute little bread squares and you don't yes croutons are awesome Croutons are, I remember croutons, uh, like, sometimes we would go to restaurants and my mom would always or usually order a, a, a salad and I would pick out the fucking croutons. Fucking croutons can make or break a salad. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the, the salad. So like uh, at the store, you know, I'll pick out these like big giant bags that, you know, are, are for like two people. So I'll, I'll pick out those big giant bags. And it's like it, the ones with the croutons are the best ones. And, you know, <laughs> obviously... Since, since I'm a since I'm a big growing strong boy, I I eat through like that that whole ass big ass bowl. You're like Popeye. I'm like Popeye, except it's not a can; it's just a giant ass just bag. Massive I, forearms. I, massive forearms. There's something wrong with him. That's how he but, delivers those meaty punches. What What was your uh, What was your question again, Benny? Like, uh, like I still uh, I still like eat sweets or not? Oh yeah, I fucking Asian parents are weird. They like, like tell you to stop that eating. Was your question. Let's get <laughs> that's, to a good, it. that's a good one. Asian parents are just weird. Asian parents are weird. Your your parents are super fucking weird. I never understood like white parents either. It's, it's a very general term, but like specifically Vietnamese parents are weird. I can say I can I can vouch for that one. I'd say my parents are somewhat cool. Yeah. Uh, you you know which one I you know which one I don't like though. Oh yeah, of course. But you know, overall, my my parents are pretty cool. Oh yeah, people. I mean, love love my mom to death. She is very cool. She's she's she is epic. she's a godsend. Every time I visit your house, she's like the friendliest person there. She's so sweet. Besides the dogs, the dogs are nice. The dog the dogs are nice. Well, yeah. the dog. Remember the other one is a. Uh... Oh yeah. Pensive. <laughs> Pensive emoji. Pensive. Fuck. But you know what? Asian parents are weird. They like tell you to do shit that's kind of ass backwards. Like, oh yeah, do you want to go visit a friend's house? Do you... Well, yeah, I want to go visit a friend's house. I've I've known for like eight plus years now. And, or not eight plus years, but like four plus years or something, right? So yeah, and can I they, go they over there? Like, back before like, I don't know, like like seven o'clock. Be back before seven o'clock when when like just when the party's starting, you know. And, and oh. it's, it's like, dude, you're like an actual legal adult. You can actually like go and die for your fucking country, and yet you have to like be back by before seven. You have to be back before seven. But my brother put it the the, the best way: it's that like you can you can go against your parents' word as long as like you do it responsibly. <laughs> you come back the next morning in one piece. Like they they will start not giving a fuck as long as you have like rides and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. So yeah, are you gonna more, start doing that then? Yeah, the more the more independent you become outside of their control, like the less the less they feel like they have to baby you. Just... That makes sense because you start actually proving to them that you're capable. Yeah, which is like, which I think it's the first step for a lot of people actually. You just like kind of step out of the nest for the first time. And you have to start making choices for yourself, like paying your taxes. But I don't do that. Yeah. My mom, she does a lot of stuff for me, mm-hmm. and I and I keep telling her no. I need I, I need to be involved for this stuff so that way I can actually learn. Oh yeah, but you know, it's uh, kind of it's definitely a Ugh. weird thing to like. Uh, at first, it's like oh fuck, doing like my laundry seems like a daunting task, and then I learn how to do it once, and I'm like oh this actually isn't that bad. It's very easy. It's though. calming. Yeah. It feels I, nice to take. It feels take nice. Initiative. Yeah. Be responsible. I can't wait to be like a fully fledged adult in my own place, and I'm like, "Fuck, I've been putting off the laundry," and then I do it, and I'm like, "Yes, I feel so accomplished." But I could have done this two weeks prior. Fuck. You know, interesting thing is, um, when you're told to do something, 
you don't want to, you know, you don't actually have the, like, the energy to do it. So you're like, man, this fucking sucks. But then when you actually do something without being told, you actually enjoy it more. That reminds me of a certain me uh, video. <laughs> you're shitting yourself. Go take a shower. No, no, no. The Mafia 3 just uh, got hurt. Oh. <laughs> don't mind I can't me. can't shit myself on Mafia 3. A bad game. <laughs> I can't shit myself while playing Mafia 3. Make a fucking game re review system. The shit <laughs> The shit ometer. Ah, uh, yes, this, this fucking video game gave to her shit. Become shirts. an employee at IGN just to leave one bad review on Mafia 3. Can't take a shit. <laughs> Wasn't can't able to take a shit. Did. Bad game. Bad game. One Ooh. out of five. Okay, uh, next topic. Which real life city looks most like GM Construct? Yeah, so for those uh, Gary's Mod nerds, you know exactly what we're talking about. GM Construct. Leave, but leave for those who have never played Gary's Mod, which is like very few people, uh, look up GM, GM underscore Construct. Gary's Mod is like the Mona Lisa you can paint on yourself. The Mona Lisa but, it, but it's like a shitty child's finger paint. <laughs> It's like, all right, all right, kid. They did it in their own shit. <laughs> all right, kid, paint a painting. The kid's like, okay, and it ends up being a FNAF save. Oh, how? <laughs> oh! This fucking saves on Gary's mod. This fucking the the workshop. The game has a workshop where you can download fucking add-ons for it, right? And the front page broke yesterday. It was and a bunch fucking, of Minecraft saves. It, yeah, it was all like Minecraft saves from 2014, 2011. Which I'm honestly okay with over FNAF. I'm gonna be completely honest. I thought it was fucking hilarious, <laughs> but all the all the workshop add-ons I actually want, you can't even find them anymore because you're like, oh, I want to look up like I don't know, shit, fuck the add-on that's been like the go-to for eight plus years now. You can't even find it because it's fucking Minecraft and shit. <laughs> it it uh, sucks that like a lot of the game modes on Gary's mod now just don't work because it's been updated. So, oh, yeah. like, it's, it's, like, the uh, the older game modes that haven't been worked on in years. And, like, you know, the, the creators have, like, left. You're not going to be able to play that anymore. Because it's not going to These guys have moved on to become, like, brain surgeons and rocket scientists. And you're out here complaining that <laughs> no, the fucking, no, they haven't updated their game mode. No, hold on, no, hold on, no. <laughs> no, hold on. Hear me out. Zombie survival. Yeah. Oh. That one, still, that one still gets updated. It got updated like last year, like in okay. December. Didn't the source code change a little bit? So like almost like over half the game modes just don't work anymore. Yeah, half that's what I just said. Yeah. That's what, you're, that's what he said. That's Sorry, I was tuned said. out because I thought of a city that actually kind of looks like GM Construct. Okay. At least in my oh, yeah, mind. Right. Uh, <laughs> the original yeah. question before we segue into the workshop. Um, Maybe I was thinking, you should show I was, the... I was thinking uh, Denver, Colorado. Denver. I don't know. It just has that feel to it. I have primordial. I have primordial fucking memories of that place. Fucking, I remember falling down the stairs as like a little baby two year old. Aww. It was very fun times. Is that where your head looked funny? <laughs> so, so I have this Harry Potter esque scar above my eye. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. You know, I just fell down the stairs. Yo, wizard Harry. <laughs> Oh yes, my mag my magical ability is to be able to come bend. Come, you, you fucking. We watched Avatar, and all you could say was, hey, bro, "I bet you could come bend." Because <laughs> that's a come. genuine fucking question. Like, if if if, if a fucking waterbender can blood bend, can he fucking theoretically come bend? Could he come bend? This is a fucking genuine question that I have. Well, well, is it is it theoretically possible? And I think yes, it is. I'd imagine it is, but at the same time, I don't want to imagine. Cause it's a fucking kid show. I don't want to imagine this, this, is, this is a fucking this is a question for science. This is like this is like if it's if it's one of the four biles of the body, you can probably bend it. All right, vomit bending. <laughs> vomit pus come pus shit bending. come shit come shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we oh, no. out, whoever's listening to this in like the middle of the night. <laughs> it, it's it's like that it's like that one fucking meme where it's like someone's like sleeping and then it's like it's like two a.m. The giant horse cock weighs over eleven pounds. <laughs> <laughs> fucking what? Personally, I like listening to podcasts when I'm like going downstairs for a midnight snack. 
So hearing, so hearing like walking walking by your parents' room, the giant horse cock weighs over eleven pounds. The giant horse cock weighs one. Wasn't that? Isn't it like? Isn't it canon? Well, I shouldn't say canon. Isn't it fucking? Isn't it real that like T Rex dicks are like twelve feet long? I'd imagine they're. they're, they're I mean, I'd imagine given though. their size, those bitches were fucking massive. No, they weren't. They were like the size of a fucking Lego Velociraptor. Dude, you're like the size of my thumbnail now. Shut up. <laughs> You're the size of a YouTube thumbnail pre-2008. Bitch. Take that back right now. Them fighting words. Them, Them fight. fighting words. <laughs> Alright, time to time for you two to duel in Quake 3. Quake 3. Quake 3 on Gmod. Fuck yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? Okay, so we found GM. Uh, now, let's, uh, now let's go to Big City. What's uh, what's What real life city looks like Big City? Do we really have to answer that one? <laughs> I would kind of think of Washington. Washington? It doesn't look like Washington to me. Fucking, it might be Olympia. I, bet, I gotta yeah, think, I gotta I think more Olympia. of a central city, because it definitely doesn't look like a coastal city by any means. Mm. So I was actually thinking, fuck, like, legitimately, no meme. Maybe Detroit. Tacoma if we filled in Puget Sound. Eh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe ever. Like, you're right, though. Coastal cities have their own, like, infrastructure and look. Like they have their own fucking road structure that like centers around the port. Like some sort of coastal city. Yeah. Cause it, it has those waterways. It has the, the yeah, the sewerways, yeah. <laughs> the shitways. Yeah, the shitways. Shit Alright, shit surfers. So yeah, okay, Detroit. Like... That's my final answer. Detroit. No meme. Right. Detroit. Whatever. Fine. It looks like East oh. Cleveland. It's got shit ways and it's little shit anyway, so little shit anyway yeah, all right next uh next uh next topic action movies action, action, movies. action movies like action like good movies. action movies that you really really love and are close and dear to your heart i can imagine benny pinpointing like six different examples i'm gonna shut my fucking mouth and let you guys speak to <laughs> no you know what no you you talk i don't fucking like, i don't want to talk how about what if i don't want to Talk. Don't force me to. Don't point a gun. I have, at my head. I have a gun to your head right now. I fucking swore I would never have a gun pointed in my head ever again. That's fucking. That's a quote for fucking. I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to fucking start violently shaking. <laughs> violently shitting over Mafia Three. <laughs> I fucking. Shit. Fucking hard boiled is my favorite action movie of all time. If you, if you don't know who. The, if you don't know who directed that movie, it's John Woo, and he fucking he makes a fucking lineage of Hong Kong action movies that inspired a lot of works like Fear, and especially um, Max Payne. Fuck it. And the beginning of it's not about X. Hard World is my fucking favorite thing to look at because all the fucking particle effects. You see fucking birds and shit and like paper being shredded to bits and fucking pieces of concrete and tile just flying everywhere, as like. Three to five dudes just fucking gun at each other. The most satisfying thing ever. But uh, I'd like to mention that uh, John Woo, the ever the ever multimedia man he is, made a fucking sequel video game to um to Hard Boiled. And it's and it's exactly it's like it's it's by proxy cyclical. I guess inspiration, right? Because he fucking his movies inspired Max Payne, and by proxy, Max Payne, Max Payne, Max Payne inspired fucking his his sequel game to Hard Boiled Stronghold. Uh, 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 fucking that game is a fucking masterpiece. I wish I had co op though, because uh, you can fucking. There's there's fight stunts you can do. It's more than Max Payne where you can just do flips and shit, right? You can jump off walls. You can fucking slide down rails. You can fucking hop on shopping carts and shit and fucking slide around, shoot that people. Actually, sounds cool. It is the fucking coolest shit ever. That fucking cool. It's fucking it's hardcore Henry except the cameras on the outside, not on the inside. <laughs> cameras, on, cameras on the outside. You fucking you wanted to, you love hardcore Henry. I know that. Okay. Yeah, that's that's my movie. That I'd want to talk about, but you continue with your fucking funny, funny Chinese action movies. Chinese, funny Hong Kong man. What do you like? I fucking let me tell you an example. Like, I you could be in a fucking restaurant, right? And they could have two levels: a fucking balcony and a fucking bottom floor. And it could have rails leading up and down, and fucking chandeliers you can swing off, right? Like, 
You can fucking slide down the rail, fucking jump, shoot people, and then slide onto another rail, going up the rail, fucking go on a rail, fucking uh, jump into a chandelier, reach the other balcony while fucking shooting people at the same time. And it's the most high octane shit because you can jump off the top balcony, land on the fucking, on like the food cart, right? Slide around, shoot the guy that's coming up the elevator, and fucking, that happened in like 10 seconds, like 5 to 10 seconds. Fucking insane. It's all held together with a fucking combo system. I just wish it had like a Doom 2016 health system because it's fucking annoying to go around. So, you just go around like fucking glory kill people and get health back. Oh yeah, I wish it like like the closer you were to them, like the more health you would get or something. Because I hate going around and like picking people off from a distance because that's like the most annoying thing ever. And there's like a whole mechanic for it. I actually love games with that kind of mechanic where it's like um. You know, you, sure, you can go around and shoot a bunch of shit, but, like, if you're, like, low on health, you go and, like, perform, like, a really cool, like, execution. Yes. I just, yes. I just love that kind of system in, like, video games. Like, man, it's like, you, you can make that shit the most brutal thing ever. And just, like, just keep the action going. Plus, like, The Last of Us, when you, like, when you, like, down someone, you can fucking hold the gun there as long as you want, and they're fucking begging for their life. Holy shit. I, I love um, the first Last of Us melee combat system. You know, it's like it's really basic. You know, you just throw out like punches. But like, um, what what made it cool is you incorporated the environment too. Oh yeah. So, like, as as you execute someone, you incorporate the vi- environment. Like you slam a guy against a wall, and then you like slam his head against it. They, it like, they dude, that was so cool. They started doing that in, in Uncharted Three, like the the beginning of bar fight scene. Mm. And oh yeah, fucking, I I don't understand like how much logic had to go behind that, but it had to be like a ton because they had contextual events for like all the the bottles breaking and shit. Like you'd smash over someone's head, and fucking bar counters and tables. And fuck. Anyways, you were gonna say Red Dead Two is another really cool um example of like melee combat done right. Because like you know again it's like simple. You know you could dodge, you can like slash, and you can like counter. But, like, mm-hmm. again, it uses the environment. So a, a really cool execution that I found out is if you uh, if you find, like, shallow water um, and you have, like, your knife out, if you tackle someone into the shallow water to where their um, their head is, like, below the water uh, and you perform the execute, uh, you actually hold them down in the water using your knife. You don't stab them. No, you actually, like, drown them using your knife by, like, pinning them down. Holy shit. I thought that was like, man, that is such a tiny little detail that many players are not going to find out. And yet Rockstar, the fucking, the actual like cool guys themselves, they they thought of that. They thought, okay, well, here's incor- let's incorporate a unique kill to, you know, a few scenarios. And it's like, you know, and you can get into like bar fights in that game and you can like you can go around and like you can use like the tables themselves or like chairs and you like fucking you slam people into the tables and like you know you take their head and they like, you slam them against like the bar. It's like it's so cool. I love it. Oh, that sounds so satisfying. It's so satisfying to get into a bar fight in that game. Red Dead Online is like five bucks right now, but I don't even have the space on my computer for it. Dude, I don't even my computer came around that. Anyway. We're segmenting into action games. We gotta continue back with the action movies. I remember watching like one John Woo film with you to the end. Oh yeah, you watched the killer with me. The killer, yeah, that was a that was that was interesting. You could definitely see where double action boogaloo got its got its a. Uh... I was about to say, like, um, it reminded me a lot of double action boogaloo. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, the fucking how the dubs fly out every time. There's like. He fucking racks the shotgun and fucking doves fly on. <laughs> and every action shot is like, there's birds flying everywhere. Fucking people just jumping all over the place. It's fucking great. That, Actually, like, a, a good free game. A good free game, indeed. The fucking John Woo movies, though. I, I get the problem where they have, like, it's... Sometimes you just want to watch an action movie, but there's, like, a lot of build-up. It's like... It's like a good story to a game sometimes like 2016 like it's it's there and it's nice if you want it but sometimes you just want the action <laughs> yeah you know oh, like it's really good. if like you're doing like an action movie you know like story is cool but like like you said you know action make sure the action's good mm-hmm. but I, I think in john movies it paces it out pretty well 
Yeah. So he, you can't have action all the time, right? Or else. I, I don't know. Personally, for me, it. I thought um, Hard Boiled had too much story going on. I like the story to Hard Boiled a lot. I feel like that's that's my like one exception. It kept throwing like, me off because they kept speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, they kept fucking speaking English, and I'm like, no, it's taking me out of it. Keenan, Asian people do that all the time. You don't understand. But fucking. They will. Just, Keenan, I, that I, movie's I, authentic I, as fuck. Fucking. <laughs> as soon as they started speaking English, I was like, oh my fucking god. I thought to me that's really funny because I really because my parents will like. When I speak Vietnamese with them, they'll like splice in random English if they don't have words for it in Vietnamese, or like they just forget. <laughs> <laughs> or they're trying to make it more intelligible for me, but all it does is make me like associate English and Vietnamese closer together. So, like, whenever I talk to actual Vietnamese people, they'll just be really confused. Like, oh, I like can't he... even think of a fucking action movie that comes to mind. You watched you watched Hardcore Henry and yeah. in, in the killer with us, yeah, right? I yeah, think, yeah, so. yeah. I just um You don't have like an actual favorite? Not really. What about uh, what about Inception? We watched that one time yeah, that, together. That one was cool. I really like that one too. It's like um yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I guess it's our time. That's uh, a that's a good excuse to watch more action movies with you though. Ah yeah, fuck. We have to, to find honest. some good action movies that Jalen has not seen. Mm-hmm. As long as the air isn't shot like a fucking an Avengers fight scene, I think um I think I'll be okay. Um there's one action movie that I've been wanting to see and it's called Upgrade. Upgrade. Where where it's like the new near future and this guy gets like crippled and his like fiance gets fucking killed. So oh. uh you know he's crippled and this guy walks up to him and he's like, Hey, you know, I, I, I have this I have this funny funny little chip that I can put into you. He's like, Okay, for sure, whatever. And uh funny and Kevin then- Spacey. And it's like the the action in that game is, but I, fuck. Why did I say game? Why the fuck did I say game? Your brain's on that. that He's a gamer. Kind of like on that. Uh, the action in that movie is it's so fucking cool. Because like the way they do the camera is it like it follows the uh, the actor's torso as he's like moving around and he's got like this like almost like robotic movement. Whoa. It's it's really cool. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll show you one day. Um, Shit shows that fuck. It's it's so. Show the audience. Uh, Go on. It had like a really cheap budget too. So anyway, uh, the action movie, you know, we already know. It's Hardcore Henry. I absolutely, that is my most favorite action movie of all time. Uh, So so a cool thing that I uh, figured out about uh, Hardcore Henry is that um, a band actually wrote and directed. Oh. That's why. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, a band. It's this uh, indie rock band that designed it, uh, that that wrote and directed it. He's like, man, this like really cool like indie band just did act, did actually did this. They were like, you know what? We want to make a movie. They made fucking Hardcore Henry. They did uh they did it in uh, a short film, like I think like 2015, something like that. Mm. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, they did a short film, and it was like Hardcore Henry. And it received enough likes that they were like, okay, you know what? We'll just make this into a full blown movie. So, you know, Hardcore Henry came into existence. And, you know, it's, it's so cool because it's an action movie, but it's like in the first person and it's like a video game. You know, you have, you have the, uh, the mentor who gives you like, uh, go from point A to point B quests. And along the way, you fight enemies to kind of level up. So, like, Henry's way of leveling up is getting more skilled in combat. You know, like, in the very beginning, oh, he he can't even fight, like, five guys in hand-to-hand combat. But in the end, he's fighting, like, 50 guys, and he's using the environment, and he's, like, parkouring all, all over the place. He's, like, breaking people's bones. You know, he rips a guy's, like, hand in half with just his strength. Then again, he was hopped up on adrenaline, so, you know. Uh, that'll contribute but it's like it's it's so cool because the way it's shot and it's like actually like a video game not hey. to mention the gore the gore in that movie is phenomenal he picked up the, the berserk pickup from Dune 2016 it was a surprisingly yeah. gory movie it was so gory i was not expecting that at all like that like that one scene where um 
Henry had the AK with the uh, underbarrel grenade launcher. He shot it into the guy, and the guy's like whole upper torso just blew up. Shit, or like the scenes where people get impaled like through the chest and shit. Yeah. Like, like fucking sharp shrapnel and like sc- scaffolding. And there's like one scene where he was on the, like a radio tower and he like jumped onto this guy's spine and you could hear the crunch of his spine as it like got snapped in half. Oh. It makes me think that like the Doom 2016 devs were looking at that movie a bit. Yeah. Give them the good old eyeball emoji. Uh, it, was, it was just, oh. It's such a fun movie, and it's like so energetic. You know, you you have like you have like the calm moments where he gets, you know, he's like a, he gets a phone call. It's like, oh hey Henry, uh, here's a here's a, here's a funny place for you to go to, mate. Uh, go uh, go shoot people, right? Henry, he's like, he's, he's like yeah, okay. It's me, it's me, Henry. Henry, it's it's me, Henry. That's, go that's go. Go. My favorite, my favorite line from that. That's got to be the gayest jacket I've seen. <laughs> hey, where can I get one? <laughs> Pulls out flamethrower. Starts writhing around. Fucking spoilers for a fucking like how old is this movie now? Like six year old movie. It's okay. not six year old. It's like it's not six year old. Hold on, wait. Let me look up when it came out. Hardcore Henry. Hardcore Henry. Twenty fifteen. It is six years old. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. I used I used my brain correctly. I fucking I surmised that, dude. I was twelve when this came out. Holy shit! I watched it when it came out too. What the fuck? Actually, no. I was thirteen when it came out. Never mind. I forgot. I I keep forgetting that's twenty twenty one. But yeah, fucking hardcore Henry is like my my absolute favorite. Uh, action movie the sound the soundtrack is phenomenal i real i don't know why but the uh, the ending song for the kill has been stuck in my head oh yeah it's such a good it's such a good song holy shit actual cool song i work out to it the movie ends the credit rolls keenan's still there I- listening to the music <laughs> I'm, s- I'm still there for the music <laughs> sitting in the fucking movie theater i don't think this came out in theaters i think this was a film festival thing. This did- no this came out in theaters Really? I thought yeah. it was a film festival. No. This came out in theaters. Oh, shit. Hardcore. Dude, imagine going to AMC and watching this. Like, good old that would be pal. quite the trip. That would be quite the trip. Now I want to watch Hardcore and you guys again. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. You know, this... You know, talking about, talking about action movies that are like games. Let's talk about gamer. <laughs> no. I don't want to talk about gamer anymore. Fuck it. Yeah, oh, oh so right, gamer. That gamer. Movie, no. You were talking about Upgrade, and I was thinking about Gamer the entire what, what, time. Upgrade's actually cool. Upgrade does sound actually cool. Gamer is a fucking... Don't ever watch Gamer. Anybody listening don't ever to watch this, Gamer. It's fucking you can, horrible. You can look it up, but don't waste your time fucking watching that actual garbage of a film. You can look up reviews of it, but it's fucking... <sighs> All it is is fucking titty fan service. Titties fan service. In fact, if you ever do watch it, play a game with your friends, and uh, it's literally just the rule is: whenever you see Booba, you clap. <laughs> Booba, you clap. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> whenever you see Booba, take a fucking shot of tequila and fuck. be dead by the end. Yeah. Be dead by the end. No oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't actually do that. Alcoholism dangerous. You can do it with a. You can do it with a like. I'm actually curious, is Gamer, like, free on YouTube? Along with a bunch of other free YouTube movies? We we watched it at, at, a, at a friend's house during uh, the birthday. Yeah. A, a quote from Hardcore Henry that I absolutely love. Uh, you're, you're go, you go ahead with the free YouTube movies. I'm going to see if I can try to find I'll, I'll give a quote. I'll give a quote so that you can keep on that topic. I'll, fucking hard-boiled, give a man a gun, he thinks he's God. <laughs> Wait, no, give him a man a gun, he thinks he's Superman. Give him two, he thinks he's God. There we go. That's my fucking favorite shit. Oh. Uh... Gamer movie. Hardcore Henry Gamer. Shit, Gamer. it's buyer rent. Oh, that's shit. It's free on Netflix. Ah, oh, is cool. it? Are we talking about Gamer or Hardcore Henry? Yeah, I don't want to complain. 
Here, here's the quote that I absolutely love. You little pussy. That's what my old man called me. It stuck, it stuck with my name and I proved him right by killing all the wrong people. I love you, Henry. I'll never call you anything but your name. But you gotta decide. Are you gonna lay there, swallow that blood in your mouth, or are you gonna stand up, spit it out, and go spill theirs? Oh, shit. The fucking, I fucking the new love the, the new Monster Hunter movie isn't free. It's by... Fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. Fuck. It would have been so worth it to watch it for free, because it actually looks I guess like we'll just... rely on our uh, Monster Hunter nerds to pirate it. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Uh, what I really hate is like when you actually like want to look for a movie that you know was on Netflix and you go actively looking for it, but then Netflix just decides to take it off like the minute you find it. Oh, that happened with the Matrix. I like we wanted to watch it and they fucking removed it the same day we wanted to watch it. It's that it's was... it's like they, they only remove movies that you're trying to like watch. Feel like Everything have... else is like a movie that you're not trying to find and it's like movies you don't want to watch. Yes. Yes. Region locking be like. Locking. Netflix Japan has all the shit. Netflix it has all the shit. Movies. Netflix UK has all the fucking Ghibli movies. Fuck. It also has like uh, the fucking Edgar Allan Poe movies too. Oh shit. Or, or at least the two really good ones. Like Shaun of the Dead and F- Hot Fuzz. Edgar Allan Poe? You mean Edgar Wright? <laughs> wait, yeah, I actually had like a bit of a take there too. I was like, wait, isn't that, wasn't that like a old ass author who wrote books and was think, something of somewhat important i meant to retarded shut up i feel like edgar Allan poe would have his own movies i'd fucking i'd be interested i, just, in I need to remind myself who the fuck edgar Allan poe was he's the he's the guy that wrote the movie not the not the fucking movie edgar i don't think he was i don't think he was around for the film medium yeah he was in, <laughs> he died he in wrote. 1849 <laughs> <laughs> Did he die at like 59, 57 or something? No, eight, he died in 1849. He was born in 1809. So he, oh, well, he literally lived to be 40. Sick. Holy shit. <laughs> he died yeah, in I, I, this I, fucker I, over I, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty smart. Yeah. I've got yeah. a brain. I've got, I've got a brain. I mean, look, we're He's all collectively rubbing brain. our two brain cells together into one brain cell. To create the oh. little friction there is in the universe. <laughs> with the combined power of two, we have the actual mental capacity of a five-year-old. <laughs> with the combined power of three, we have the mental capacity of one. <laughs> minus one half, fuck. So that makes you're, like... You receive, a, you receive a minus five penalty. Minus five. How much brain cell? Yes. Hey, yes. Hey, Keenan, what game are you playing right now? Well, I'm. St- I'm. St- Last podcast, didn't we talk about like the, me playing through Dungeon Siege? Oh yeah. Yeah, but we didn't get into the um, like uh, what we were doing with well, your game library on Steam. Right. Right now, I'm. I'm still. I'm still playing through Dungeon Siege. The game's a lot longer than I anticipated. Yeah. I think I actually just made it to that like the halfway mark. Oh, yeah, for a little bit of context, uh, Keenan organized this thing that I dubbed as the I... Steam Library Marathon. <laughs> and he, he's so... basically going through his entire library in alphabetical order, playing through all his single-player games with campaigns Basically, if the game's not free to play, and if it has a campaign, you play through it. So, let's say, you know, Age of Empires 2, since that game has a campaign, you play through all the campaigns. But it's like it's it's the game only if it has like a, a campaign you play through it. You really yeah. call me out, right yeah? Now. You literally called out Benny's on. <laughs> How many campaigns are there in Age of Empires? Uh, there's like four continents, and like each of them have like five campaigns. <laughs> it's gonna take me like, like you like Africa alone has like seven to eight campaigns, Good and Lord. then fucking Asia has like five. Fuck. Well, I wish you luck. Yeah, and then Europe has like another seven, and then. The South America has like two. Oh, yeah. that makes me. Oh, you know, I just realized. Mm-hmm. We yeah. Forgot to fucking mention our schedule. Oh yeah. We should have done that in the beginning. Huh? In the beginning. The the podcast schedule, Jalen. Yeah, every title. Saturday. Every Saturday. But we, I don't think we mentioned it. 
They'll figure it out. Yeah. The one person that's like dedicated to watching this podcast will figure it They'll out. They'll figure it out. You, you smoke, right? Sometimes. Yeah, my library is actually um a bit smaller than the other two nerds here because I didn't use Steam back when I was five years old. Dude, I have, I have like over a hundred games I need yeah. to like go through. Yeah, like, out of, out of my current library, I have like thirty something games I could run through. I'm what cool. section are you at right now? I'm currently at D with Doom. 2016. Yeah, right now. After Dungeon Siege, I have Dying Light, and then after that, I have the uh, Elder Scrolls Four and Elder Scrolls Five. I'm just so I'm just so fucking. I just I just want to get to certain games in my library because I got like three of them during a sale. I'm like, fuck, I really want to play these. Oh yeah. Yeah, same, dude. I want to play through like a shit ton of Dying Light. Somebody bought me Noida, and I want to get to that so bad. It's a little pixel god game, the roguelike. Yeah. I think I have like two roguelikes in my library. Yeah, two, just two. I have like a few, I think. I got a couple. And then there's oh. the there's the question of what I do with like the five people that are Steam shared with me. <laughs> I I want to go through their libraries too, but I might go through them alphabetically as well. You go through yours first. Like if if you didn't buy it, don't don't like play. It. I will, I'm gonna steal. But it. if you if if the game was free, you know, like say there was like a, a special like um sale that made the game free, you could, you could still go through. Yeah, like I'm gonna have to play the it dirt cost, rally. It costed money at one point. Yeah, it costed the big monies. I'm gonna have to play through XCOM <laughs> Bureau, which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> I played like a bit of like XCOM. I think it's it's okay. Oh yeah, like XCOM I can, uh, on your current marathon and of your library, which game are you at least looking forward to, or has that game oh, yeah. passed? Oh, uh, let me let me look at the games ahead of me. Jalen, you take a look too. I'm gonna take a look. I already know. Oh, you already know. Yeah. Dying Light, Oblivion. Yeah, this guy's the fucking question asker. Hard to do the answer to my own question, and I just wanted to bring that. So one of so one of the games I'm not really looking forward to too much is Fallout Tactics. Oh, I'm not I'm not looking forward to that because you know it, it's it, it's the same style as the first two Fallout's, but this time like it's not turn based. Oh, and you and you control like an entire like squad. So you know you you have to like micromanage a bunch of shit, and I'm like bad at like micromanaging a bunch of shit without you know being able to pause a game and like think about my next move so you know it's all real time and like they added so many more mechanics and fault tactics like now you're you're you can have your squad go crouch or prone and it's like i'm not looking forward to that that's not gonna be fun i think uh maybe at first it would have been half-life 2 but i've m mod so it'll be a little bit more manageable but i think since i have five nights at freddy's sister location (laughs) <laughs> that's the game you're most looking forward to tell us the game you're least looking forward to i just told you <laughs> <laughs> so funny story about how i got this game for a little bit of context so uh way long ago i think it was like freshman year of uh, high school one of our friends who i don't even know where he is right now kind of vanished off the grid he he put in a steam link for a game he's like all right free game who wants it i copped that shit instantly he didn't tell me what the game was. I just put it in and copped it. And it was, lo and behold, Sister Location. Wait, was it the guy that posted furry porn to our server? It no, wasn't. that's... It, that's, it, it was another that's guy. That's Mr. E. Oh, that's Mr... Are you talking about uh, SB? Yeah. Sb. He, went to, he went to Vegas. He lives in Vegas now. He lives in Vegas? Oh, cool. Shit. Yeah. Huh. He plays bass guitar. He's a very neat person. Whoa. Yeah, I hope he's doing. Well, I hope he's doing all right. But you know, I remember the days when he tried to get me into league. He uh, <laughs> man, tried to make you smoke crack. He does a lot of drugs time. now. He he went live on one of his Instagram things and he was like doing coke. Ooh. Oh shit! Yeah. Never yeah, so. mind. <laughs> I don't think he's doing too well. Oh man, Vegas. living the dream oh, at the very man. least. Living the dream, man. Every, every yeah. fucking street smells like weed. Every street smells like weed. It's not a fucking. It really. And it's not for prostitutes. It's fucking. There's a custom grow 420 doing a fucking bong rip. Yo. 
<laughs> every fucking corner street. What's that noise? But I think at That's the very what he least, does in the videos. he fucking he has the lung buster. It's like a fucking five foot long bong. He just oh no no. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure sister location's pretty linear, and plus after that game I get to play Ghost Runner again. So Ghost Runner looks fun. Ghost Runner's fun as shit. At first I was a little skeptical because it was just like this uh, kind of pricey game that came out of nowhere, kind of AAA, oh, but not really. Because it was it was one of those games where it's like pre-order now and get this exclusive skin that looks very mediocre. But oh gosh, the game itself fun as shit. Star Wars. You know I bought the Star Wars collection on Steam. And I, how much I did you get it for? Much except Dark Forces One and Battlefront Two. Yeah, how much did you get it for? Uh, it was like it was like five bucks. <laughs> wow. wow, it was fucking it was cheap. It's like the uh, entire like uh, Valve collection, you yeah. know, like, the whole thing like not on sale is like over two hundred dollars, but like on sale it goes for like three dollars. No, that's fucking that's the that's the Activision collection. It's like a thousand dollars for like all the games, it's like eight hundred <laughs> or something. <laughs> Fucking dollars! Like they like they had to include all the games they've ever published, so it's like fucking Frogger and shit. <laughs> dude, most of the fucking Activision games are even fucking worth it, dude. They're not worth it at all. And then there's like the Call of Duty collection, and then there's Train Simulator with the fucking two thousand dollars worth of DLC. I still can't imagine anyone playing those games, and yet there they are making the games, you can making buy your own fucking train with that money. <laughs> yeah. Like I used Diesel. Out of commission from a fucking scrapyard, if you wanted to. Okay, you know, just dis- despite me not really looking forward to Fallout Tactics, I am looking forward to like my entire Fallout collection. Oh yeah. Oh god, because like I have Fallout One, Fallout Two, Fallout Four, Fallout New Vegas. I'm missing three because three doesn't do too well on Windows Ten. Oh yeah. It it's very prone to crashing a lot. I wanted to get three on Windows, but I read through like every single fucking wiki article and it's like, yeah, this fucking this is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it's fucking it still has like games for Windows Live shit for it. Yeah, and oh my god. It's like the worst fucking shit in the world. I because it, it sucks because I actually really love Fallout 3. It's it's a it's 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 a fun Fallout game. Might not be the best one. But I still, I still love it. Oh yeah. Oh, you we're know, have to get the RE6 again. At, at least it actually has more choices than Fallout 4. True, truth be told, yes. You fucking, do you have Fallout Brotherhood of Steel? Uh, no, no cause uh, I wasn't that like an, a console exclusive. I don't think so. Maybe. Hold on, let me look this up. Yeah, how about you look it up? Because my computer's slow. All right, babe, I got you. Anyway. Fucking the game release looking forward to in our Steam libraries. Um, Civ 3. Because I fucking. I, I cannot sit down and play a civilization game for the life of me. And I'm already like. I mean, I'm starting to like Age of Empires 2 again. Because we used to play that as like a. Like a party game together of sorts. Except everybody would fucking gang up on you, Keenan. <laughs> I don't know why. It never makes sense to me. Why are people fucking just gang up on you? I think it was mostly. Fuck, it'd be, it'd be Aiden and Ray. Fucking... Like, they, they just they gang up on me. It's it's probably because they know I don't really build up an army too much because I'm just too focused on gathering resources. Oh, yeah, I do the same thing too, though. So I don't know. The fucking. Well, Aiden said the reason why he chose he like rushes me first is because my reaction is funny <laughs> to him. That's fucking. That's that's so mean, though. That is like, such a mean reason. It's like, it's like, dude, of course, of course, I'm gonna be a little up, fucking upset because, like, I just started and now I'm gonna be dead for like an hour before we start another game. Oh, it's gonna be a fucking Zerg rush at the start and then fucking dead. Fucking dead. Not to be surprised. This, this is why when I play like uh, RTSs with you guys, um, I really like doing against AI and having the AI be hard. For the, yeah, like, I, I I enjoy that a lot more. Like, so especially much back when we played a lot of a uh, Soulstorm Warhammer. Yeah, a. that's the way I like to play RTS games too, because I don't like playing against friends. Because like then you get angry at each other, and it's no longer fun. It's it's the most enjoyable way. It's like 
I feel like I, I've, I've read up somewhere that like a lot of people do the same thing too. It's like 90% of what other people play RTS games for is like against the AI with friends. Yeah, like you, you bump the AI, uh, AI up to difficult. You have, you have a blast doing it. You know, you might get your ass kicked sometimes. Sometimes. Some, so, not all the time. Oh, fuck. You know, I just realized speaking of Dawn of War. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to go through all four. Oh, I'm yeah. going to have to go through all four games. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Very good luck, my friend. Uh, uh, dude. And like each each game, each faction has their own separate campaign. <sighs> so like I'm playing like I don't know, like I don't know, like how many factions are in total in Soulstorm? Is there like eight? Um, there's like eight. Yeah. There's like eight separate campaigns. Oh shit. Just for one game. And then, you know, regular John of War, there's like, uh... oh, wait, actually, no, I don't think there's eight. I think there's more than eight. I don't know, it's been a while since we played it. Uh, Tau, Chaos, Space Marine, Imperium. I can't wait to play Among Us single player. Shut up. Among Us! I'm trying to, I'm trying to count factions. Tau, One, two, three, Space Marine, Tau. Uh, Chaos, Imperium, uh, Eldar, Dark Eldar, Orcs. Um. Uh. Sister, s- sisterhood. Sister of battle. Sisters of battle. Um. um I feel funny, like I- funny, funny green, funny green robot boys. That resurrect. <gasps> Necron. The Necrons. Necrons. Um. Um, 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 um. Then there's gonna be like one more. Because like with with each add on, they add in like two new factions. Oh yeah. Like, so like base had four, and then it's like another two, four, six. Uh, so that's like another six factions. So yeah, we're missing one. I'm missing one. Um. Or yeah, there's, there's like there's like ten one. factions. So that means like, you know, Dawn of War. There's like going to be a total like I don't know. 16 campaigns just for base because like you know there's four factions I make you yeah but back when we game. actually did play that game regularly it was definitely a nice uh, cooperative experience you know just like gathering a team of four doing whatever trying to take out oh, the yeah. AI being them boosted as all hell on hard difficulties Oh, yeah. fucking it's because like they rush everything yeah. they already have their throw out by the time we actually start building a barracks yeah it's definitely uh kind of rewarding to start building the rhythm of like build this build that send this guy here build this send that guy there yeah same deal for age of empires too but just... like with age of empires too it, th- there are a lot of factions that are just borderline broken so it's like Spanish. The Spanish. I fucking hate it when Aiden only plays Spanish. And like you, you have to you have to like play another faction that's like border borderline like the same as them. You can't you play, play anything else. like the Chinese. Like and start fucking Chinese. building cannons and shit to take care of the boats. Fuck. Fucking you have to get good siege weapons out and ready for like you have to get like the ballistas out to take care of ships and shit. Yeah. Or else you're gonna be fucking raided immediately. <laughs> Meanwhile, fun. like Dawn of War, each faction, you know, they have their um strengths and weaknesses, and you you know, you build your army up to go against those strengths or weaknesses. So like, you know, the Necrons they're slow and they have a lot of health, and their melee is really high, so you know, you kinda build like a ranged sniper army or something like that and when they do or die like, they have like a chance to resurrect okay yeah necrons are just actual bro actually broken fucking they're really bullshit. broken they're like they're, single single unit damage outputs also really fucking busted yeah but like you know with tau you know they, they have like really like long range, long range. High damage healing guns but in melee they suck so you build you know you say you're playing space marines you build a lot of um uh, assault marines because you know they they close the gap really quickly oh yeah they have really high melee damage so or you know they make... orcs, you get the fucking the jetpack boys <laughs> the orcs the fucking the orcs are so fucking op 
Because like they're just, so like, multifaceted. Like, they're like space marines. They're so good. Except they have numbers. They have numbers are, instead of you know, arguably kind of a bit better than uh, the space marines. Maybe. Arguably, yeah. Because you can rename them to the Guy Fieri's, and they already have the fucking fire decals on their car. It makes them go new new. It go. It makes them go new new. They about new, to take new. you to Flavor Town. <laughs> Take you, right. take you to fucking Flavor Town. They're taking my you to my fucking... You're already there. <laughs> You're already there. I'm already there. I named one of my one of the armies you can build the beans, and I fucking made them all green, and it made it like the worst thing to control because I couldn't tell what unit was what. They were all fucking green. I just name. I just give my armies like regular cool ass names like Gilded Angels, Corruption for like spa- uh, the Chaos Marines. Your armies are serious and cool. Fucking! I made one serious army. I None think. of my armies are serious. Like, what was that one army I made? It was something to do with belly button. Land. Belly, bu- belly button. Uh, belly button. Co- cotton yeah, belly candy. button lint <laughs> cotton candy. <laughs> belly like bite sized cotton candy. Belly button lint. Oh, I should give my next army the sperm. And, he, and he gave him like really. We gave him really disgusting colors. <laughs> they were like gray and purple and pink. Yeah. With uh, like a bit of yellow in it, <laughs> it's like, fucking gross. Fucking disgusting. I, I look out like, ugh. <laughs> this is a good. I have good names for my armies now. Fucking Costco wholesale, California raisins, and fucking <laughs> sperm cell. <laughs> fucking add a little bit of red to the sperm cell. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. No. Yeah, effective. Yet effective. The blood cells have a few white. Didn't blood I also cells have them. fanboy fire department? Fanboy. <laughs> yeah, you did. Fuck. I think it was something along those lines. I don't remember. Oh, another uh, another series that I'm looking forward to is the System Shock series. Series, I agree. And and the Thief series. Oh yeah. I heard those were good too. Um, I'm putting a pause on playing Crisis One because I actually want to get to that. Oh fuck. Yeah, put a pause on Crisis One. <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to play through Stranglehold again. Just uh, I'll just do it on fucking on like hard difficulty. Like, like another series that I didn't really like going through was uh, the Ezio collection. Oh, for Assassin's Creed. Yeah, because I mean, I I liked Assassin's Creed too, but like the an optional thing to do for the marathon is to get all the collectibles. In a Ubisoft I, game? Oh. In a Ubisoft game. And I did that. And I gave up when I got to Revelations. <laughs> yeah, my older sis, uh, way back when, holy shit, she was on that shit. Like, oh my god. I don't know how she did it, but she yeah. was a big fan of the game, so. The the older, the, like, older Assassin's Creed's, you know, the collectibles for those are actual, like, fucking hard. To like get all of them because yeah. like it's not hard finding them. It's hard having enough willpower and energy to actually go get them. Because there's like a hundred and fifty something feathers scattered Dude, across the like entire 500. map. There's like five hundred to- total collectibles, yeah. and like Rome is so fucking large, and Constantinople. So it's, 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 it's like eventually you're just gonna give up. Oh. You're you're like fuck this. But I had a really fun time with Black Flag. Black Flag oh, is yeah. my most favorite Assassin's Creed game. The only experience I have with Black Flag is my brother asking me when I was like like 15 to like play Black Flag for him to get the collectible. <laughs> Chinese sweat shop worker. Chinese sweat shop worker. Fuck. Your brother's like, fuck this. Hey, uh, Benny, you want to do this? And he's like, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll go find the, all the little bottles with the messages in them. Yeah. But, I mean, it's fun to actually explore around in that game. Plus, you know, the combat is so fun, and, you know, the story story is actually good. I think I remember for, playing for, Liberation I, DLC for that game. I think that was the third one. Wait. We don't talk about the third game. Well, Assassin's Creed 3? Yeah, it wasn't very good. Oh, I liked oh. it. It was kind of cool. Uh... It wasn't, you I know, don't. Assassin's Creed 4 fantastic, but it's definitely a... I would say Imagine being decent. very burnt out after playing all those Assassin's Creed games back-to-back, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was. Ugh. I skipped over Origins because A, my computer can't run Origins. 
and B, I'm like, man, you know, I'm just fucking. I'll, I'll come back to the order. Egypt one, right? Yeah, that was the Egypt okay. one. I actually had fun with what I was able to run with Origins, but eventually my computer just started to not be able to handle it. Mm. But for some reason, my computer can handle Alien Isolation. Ooh. Gives you a good rundown on what games are optimized and what are not. I, I think it's really just because uh, my processor can't process a lot. You know, with Origins, there's like so many characters walking around. It's like my computer just can't like fucking. That's true, but you know, you know that shit. Ubisoft but, games like, are practically like... notorious for being poorly optimized. Oh yeah. And then I ran through the Bioshock series. That was fun. I actually have the entire fucking series on PlayStation. I just haven't touched it yet. Please touch it. it. You'll you won't regret it. Bioshock One is a fucking hoot, a ride. A hoot. I actually like Bioshock Two a lot more than I remember. Ooh, what if I brought my PS4 to Kyle's house? Ooh. Ooh. Sounds like fun. Fuck it. Well, wait, why though? I don't know. It just kind of felt like it. All right. Mm. Mm. Uh, the, but, no, the Dishonored series, uh, that was fun. Before I really loved... trails off into uh, a bunch of different games, let's specifically talk mm. about Coop games. Go up. Okay, yeah, yeah, we we need to we need to get back on track. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dying Light. Dying Light is a fantastic co-op game. I feel like I already know what game I'm gonna mention, and y'all are gonna know too. Uh-huh. I put a thousand hours into it. Been playing it for a year. Army of two. two. No. <laughs> deep it's... cock galactic. No deep rock galactic. No cocks here. Team Fortress two. It has the word team in it. No, it team Fortress. That game's so cool, but I feel like it has a bit of acquired taste. It's kind of hard to get into, as yeah. as I'd imagine for you two. <laughs> oh no! Hey, I got bored with it after a while because it was the exact same thing. You know, you, you go, you go. I still remember find the, the first time we picked it up and uh, the free to play section because it had its uh, first uh, anniversary. That shit was fucking right. cool. But here's a co op game that we all love Left, Left 4 Dead. Dead 2. Yep. Left 4 Dead. Oh, Left 4 Dead 2 is easy. Easy money. It's, it's, such, a, it's such a fun co op game. Time to get a checklist uh, for every episode. We gotta mention Left 4 Dead at least once. Left 4 Dead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, it, it's like the director is so cool in that game it's like hmm these guys are doing good here's two tanks oh and a witch oh, you know, yeah. let's sprinkle in some boomers and chargers and, and maybe a spitter or two you know I'll slow them down one of the first games to do that like RE4 also had like a, a director of sorts fucking mm. it would like place items and shit based on how well you were doing I remember that my brother loves that game, but I gotta oh, play through yeah. it. Too. It did, yeah. Like, say you're low on like a specific ammo type, it'd be like, hmm. hmm. Here you go. Here you go. You could go through that entire gamma herd without taking damage. Fucking insane. You could do that for a lot of games. Yeah. Oh, for, for RE4, it just Actually, seems very unattainable. Into fucking me. like a no hit runs on Dark Souls. Oh. Oh. Those sound fucking. <laughs> stupidly annoying to deal with Sound brutal but fucking like speed runs all have some sort of rhythm to them on whatever mm -hmm. game you're playing so that way you gotta hit this checkpoint i guess at this time or you're gonna have a time loss or whatever i guess but with no hit Here's runs in dark souls what the fuck yeah like the the um Going through like the entire soul series like the challenges of uh going through the entire soul series if you get hit once you have to start back all the way I like Dark Souls. So like, you could be, you could be at like the final boss, Dark Souls three. Oh no, uh, he he clipped my big toe. Time to go back to Dark Souls one. That, that, that sounds like too much. Oh my god. Oh, I, they've done it. They've done they it. Went through. Oh my god. It was a slog. That's brutal. Does fall damage count too? Yes. Any any form of damage. Fuck. Go back to it. No skips, no yeah, funny skips. Yeah, I'll have to look into some videos. No funny shit. skips, not through it. A really good co-op game that me and Benny love is Resident. This controversial Resident Evil Five. 
I don't think it's very controversial. I think I think a lot of people would agree it that it's a very good co-op game. Just not a very good Resident Evil game. Yeah, it wasn't a very good Resident Evil game. Although, you know, I wouldn't know because I never played an actual Resident Evil game. Same here. Mm-hmm. Does 4 kind of count? I mean, uh, four, 4 is drastically different from the other, like, actual... Four, 4 is, like, the beginning of the formula change. And, like, 5 yeah. is more of the same of 4, except with co-op. I played the I played a bit of the uh, uh, original the uh, Resident Evil One or, uh, remake, hmm. and uh, it's fun. It's it's quite different, you know, uh, having like your camera positions being like corners of rooms. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's kind of hard to orientate yourself. Like, hmm. Well, uh, there goes there goes my camera position. I don't know where the fuck I am now. There it goes. But Resident Evil 5 was fun. Benny, we're going to have to go through Resident Evil 6. I just remembered. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one. I'm, I'm not looking forward to that one. I really, I really enjoyed it. I still have footage of when we played that. Like, I, need to, I need to edit that down. Oh. Oh, we got fuck. to the Chris campaign, and we're just we're done. Yeah, I want to get to the other campaign where you get superpowers and shit. That sounds cool. Oh, fuck. But the Chris campaign plays significantly like a fucking Call of Duty campaign. Like I'm fucking. Oh, hey, let's get everything guns. Good luck. Get everything guns. Let's let's give action set pieces that are kind of bullshit. Like when you have to climb up. I think we got stuck on the fucking bamboo scaffolding thing. Yeah, so there's like a, there's like a pipe that you had to cr- crawl across. Fuck, my my. Mm. Why oh. why am I getting so tongue tied? Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Cause... There's like a there's a section that you had to do where like you um you climb across like a pipe and I had to cover you, but for some yes. reason like they killed you way too quickly. If fucking I would be crawling across the pipe and I just I would get immediately fucking stomped on. It was not fun. That's where we stopped I playing. Your health was low. Yeah. No, I think I was full health almost. I don't I don't remember. It was either that or I I was like very low on ammo. So oh, I, yeah. I think it's it's because you were low on ammo. Yeah. Oh, shit. I actually, yeah, I think it was that. Like, I was super low on ammo, so I wasn't actually able to do anything. The only thing I had, other than like my my assault rifle, was like a grenade. And whenever I threw my grenade, you fucking died. Fuck. <laughs> Good times. All right, now let's go back to co-op games that we all play. Uh, sea of Thieves. Oh yeah. It's a super fun co-op game. I want to play more of that. Shit. There's just some sort of charm where there's just a game that like is in reality kind of bare bones, but the real you, you, like, and, and the real entertainment from the game through. is the stories that you forge and make. Yeah. Like it, it's so fun to get have like friends and just sail around and do random shit. And the, Actual fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's some sort of charm, and I like it a lot. I just I wish I felt like playing it more. I want to be cowboy on the high seas, not pirate. Well, like, I keep asking you guys if you want to play, and you guys like don't respond. Mm. Fucking come on. Mm. We'll play. Well, you, you, you just want to play t- today? Hmm? Mm. Mm. You, want play, you want to play today? Not really. God damn it. <laughs> nice try, though. But, um. You want to play? You want, you want, you want, you want, you want, you want, you want to I think it's kind of the point. same thing with uh, Deep Rock, at least for me. Like, I literally have everything in the game because of uh, my casual uh, playtime in it of 1,309 yeah, hours. Fun. Like, fun. Fuck, mm. I didn't make more Deep Rock videos. Stuff happened. Fuck it. I'll never forget the first time I played it, though. We had so much fun. That was really fun. Was fun. Yeah. I'm glad we, we, we jumped on that free weekend. I like how I'm essentially the crew's jihadist. Yeah. Ooh. Give me, give me a gunpowder barrel. I sneak onto the enemy ship and I just blow it up. <gasps> sneaky, sneaky. sneaky. How, how do you be sneaky with a fucking barrel almost as big as you? you the enemy ship. The enemy people are just like, oh look, a barrel with legs. Oh fuck, a barrel with legs. Is any? Hey, look, a barrel of legs. Oh no. Barrel of legs. Barrel of legs. Do you... yeah. Well, they're like really fun co-op games we like. Fun co-op games. Let me look. I think a fun co-op. Seven days to die, you know. Seven days is very fun. 
Wait, seven days is very fun. Okay, when was the last time I played that? Fucking December. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, December 14th. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Fuck, I had, a, I had a game in my brain. There's not enough okay. co-op uh, co uh, co co uh, content on uh, fucking Gary's mod. Yeah. I mean, just... red versus blue. Uh, that's just, like, general, like, PvE stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, like, like, like legitimate like co-op. out of red versus blue. I mean, that's just like pretty cool, because it's, like, super freeform, and you can basically just build around it a lot, mm -hmm. which is really cool. But, uh, not enough coop. I want more coop. Quite cool enough. A uh, good co-op game is uh, Borderlands 2. Oh, yeah. That was I actually want to play through that somebody at some point. I'm, I remember playing Borderlands with that with y'all, and I got kind of bored. <laughs> but games uh, probably not for me, even though I somehow managed to get a little bit of more enjoyment out of Borderlands 3. Yeah. yeah. Don't know how, but... Yeah. I mean, Borderlands 2, it's like, you know, early game, you don't get all the fun stuff, but late game, it, it gets really fun, because, like, you have... Late game, you can actually start building stuff. for your character and shit. Yeah. Not even late game, like, once you start to get, like... Once you finish the main campaign, you start doing builds and shit. Oh, fuck. The main campaign isn't even that long. It's like, at most, four hours. TBH. Probably not even all that much. At most. And then the DLC is definitely... I haven't even played the DLC for 2 yet. Which makes me sad. Uh, All the DLC for 2 are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. I want to play through one more, though. <laughs> yeah, I haven't uh, gone through all the DLC in one. That yeah, fucking TK Baja's fucking... I don't know, Dr. Z... Dr. Ned Z Island or some shit. Yeah, I was about to say, TK Baja's Bloody Harvest is two. That's two. And then... Ooh, doesn't TK Baja canonically become a zombie? Yeah. That's fucking cool. Oh. He's happy, man. He's happy, man. He's got a... Uh, uh, I just really, I still have Deep Rock Galactic installed. <laughs> I really like uh, pre-sequel. Mm. Didn't that one get a lot of shit? Was it yeah, I got a lot of shit, but I still kind of find it fun. Cool. You now the, uh, the low gravity. Although the oxygen mechanic's kind of annoying. Aw. Shit. Unless... Unless you're Claptrap. Do you play as Claptrap? I mean Claptrap. Fuck. Clap, clap. Clap, clap. Trap, trap. Trap, trap. What your cheek do. Clap, clap. Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. I kind of want to try Left 4 Dead 1, but I think I've already played it. Through Left 4 Dead 2. I mean, Left 4 Dead 1 is included in Left 4 Dead 2, so... True. But there's like a few there's like a few differences that I I kind of want to see for myself at some point, but... Like? Maybe that's just the me thing. Oh, no. What what differences in 1 do you want to see? Uh, some of the, some of the, some of the special infected are left out, and there's like a few different... Some of the goods are left out, but... TBH, I think I'd be down just to play two because it does. You're right, it does just include one. Oh, uh, well, I mean, they updated. You know, with the last stand update, they included a lot of the uh, Left 4 Dead One content. Mm. Mm. So, like, um, you know, they they brought back the uh, original skins for the campaigns. The big boat skins. I see. I <laughs> don't. Gotta play through like a Ninjago movie, the video game. Oh yeah, I forgot to cop that too. That's gonna be a fun one to go through. Is that co-op? I I think it has two player. <gasps> like every other Lego game. Dead Rising 2. We forgot about that. <laughs> I was gonna mention that, but I fucking I left it on my brain. <clears throat> fucking goddamn. Far Cry 3 has has co-op, but it's very laggy. I can't I can't run Far Cry 3 for some reason. It's so fucking laggy. I can run Far Cry 5 better than Far Cry 3. That is so weird. I fucking forgot that scrolling down the community section of Far Cry 3, all you see is Booba. 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 Uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. Very... Although it, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> then the odd is too powerful. 
I enjoy that it hurts my eyes. It's very nice. It hurts my eyes nice. with bright colors and beautiful lights. Bright color. Fuck. I need to play through 4. That one I actually... I really liked playing when I had it on PS4. I got I got 4, but then, you know, obviously, hmm, computer can't handle it, so... Hmm. You... Cause all this fucking Insurgency. That's a, that's a fun co-op game along with uh I remember not like that first way back when when we first played it but now that we came back to it it was actually kind of decent oh which game insurgency uh dave insurgency oh yeah it's really fun yeah and then day of infamy is also pretty fun i, I like dave infamy more than like i'm insurgency. not yeah i'm not exactly too much of a fan of a realistic shooter even if it is you know super arcadey i don't know but it was, oh, it yeah. was decently fun I fucking I remember we got into like a semantic argument over like realistic arcadey shooters and that was like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we should fucking we should get around to playing Ah oh, shit. Dying Light, Dave and Femi. All the well, D Dying Light is the is the game up next for me on my on my doohickey. On your fucking big marathon list. You on big my big funny marathon. marathon. I think, oh my god. It's been about like an hour and a half. Yeah, let's an wrap. Start wrapping it up? Yep. All right. Let's do a fucking big wrap up. <gasps> Alright, yeah. uh, for the two or three people still listening somehow, uh, thanks. You're cool. Thank you. Kind of got boring after the end. <laughs> I'd imagine. Like I'm make I'd imagine boring. like the people listening to it, they like mm, this is kind of boring at the end. This is what, 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 like what kind of per, what kind of person who listens to podcasts actively listens? Oh, we, made, we made a podcast for people that are like actively listening at the start, and then they it becomes background noise. Exactly. Three dice. I enjoyed that. Yeah. All right, fine. Uh, next podcast, we'll just say poop 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 ass, and then so uh, poop, usual poop, but more. You can more. All right. And with that, we better do. Let's synchronize in three, two, one. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bitch. Hunt. <laughs> Whore. <laughs>